I, Kyle, take you, Jordan, to be my wedded wife. I vow to love you every single day. I vow to love you every single day. To always choose our marriage and the life we will build together. To always choose our marriage and the life we'll build together. Over my own selfish desires. Over my own selfish desires. I promise to serve you. I promise to serve you. And to protect you. And to protect you. From anything that seeks to do you harm. From anything that seeks to do you harm. I promise to lay down my life for you. I promise to lay down my life for you. I vow to love you in sickness and in health. I vow to love you in sickness and in health. And everything in between. And everything in between. I vow to love you as Christ loves the church. I vow to love you as Christ loves the church. To keep Christ at the center of our, our marriage. To keep Christ at the center of our marriage. And pursue him with you. And pursue him with you. To be a husband that leads you well. To be a husband that leads you well. And submits to Christ's authority. And submits to Christ's authority. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. Dear Jordan, my beautiful bride, I'm so happy that in such a short time I get to call you my wife. I can't believe that we are finally at this moment. I have looked forward to this moment for many years. I've been praying for you for many years. I'm so glad that God answered my prayers by bringing you to me and preparing us for each other. You're such a good helper for me. You're so kind, loving, thoughtful tenderhearted, sweet, devoted, supporting, caring. God brought us together to create something for Him. May we continue to pray for and with each other every day. May our lives always be drawn together by a holy love greater than our own. I love you more than I did yesterday, less than I will tomorrow, Jordan, my beautiful bride. From this moment on, you're a husband. Dear God, uh, thank you for just creating this beautiful day for us. And that we get to come together to have this marriage ceremony that you created for us. And we get to worship you during it. I just pray that you would just be with us as we start our marriage and help us to love each other the way that you love us. Kyle, in taking Jordan to be your wife, do you so promise to honor, to love, and to cherish her in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in hardship as in blessing, until death alone shall part you? I do. And Jordan, in taking Kyle to be your husband, do you so promise to honor, to love, and to cherish him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in hardship as as in blessing, until death alone shall part you. I do. Now, Kyle and Jordan, by the authority given to me, by our Lord Jesus Christ, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, may kiss your bride. Indeed, it is my great pleasure to now present to you this day, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle Millsap.
have truly never seen Jordan more happy than I have today and throughout her relationship with Kyle. They've built their relationship around God and I know that he has had his hand in their relationship from the very beginning. Um, growing up, Kyle was a very cautious kid. Uh, he had to think long and hard about if he was going to do anything. And the fact that he chose Jordan just shows how much he loves and cares for and all the high commitment that he is willing to give to you. Very look forward to seeing what God has planned for you. And it's an honor and privilege to call you my sister and to be your brother. And Suzanne and I love you both very much. Jordan is my sweetheart. This is going to be hard. Jordan, we all love you very much. Kyle, welcome to the family.